Because Tableau sits on top of your data, it needs to pull that information through in order to make use of it. So think of it like an assembly line and you're passing your part onto the next stage. Now, digitally speaking, this happens in the background for the most part, and you don't even know it. But as data gets much larger, we need to start considering system performance, which is why in this video, we're going to talk about live versus extract connection types. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to talk about system performance. Now, when your data set is relatively small, you know, in the thousands, you're probably not even going to worry about system performance, right? It's never even going to come up in conversation. But once your data starts getting larger, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, what you'll see is Tableau um, comes up with the dialogue, you know, it's like computing. Okay, and that is because, well, the data is large, it takes time. So one thing we can do is instead of using what's called a live connection, we switch over to an extract connection. So let me explain how that all works. If you are using Tableau Public, right, you'll notice that up here is completely empty. And here usually you have the connection of whether to go live or whether to go extract. Right? But Tableau Public being a free version, you haven't got that capability. So I'm going to switch over to Tableau Desktop, and let's do a fresh one. And let me show you how that one looks. Okay, so here we are in Tableau Desktop. So this is the, the not the free version, the full version. Let's bring the data set in. Okay, output. I'm not going to bother cleaning it up again. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's not doing it. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually see this connection. So let's talk about what is the difference. Let's bring our trusty, super artistic Microsoft Paint over here. And let's talk about live and, live and extract. Okay, let me get my drawing tool. Okay, let's go red. All right, so for live connection, basically what happens is you've got your Excel data set here. Okay, you got your Excel. Actually, why am I typing? So <laughs> there's like a typing <laughs> tool here. So let's go live connection. All right. So you got your live connection there. All right. And we have the Excel file. So basically your input. Okay. So let's call it input Excel. But your input can be all sorts of things. Okay. And we have Tableau here. And what happens is it kind of goes between the two. So the, the raw data exists in Tableau, right? But we're feeding it back and forth whenever we're doing visualizations, right? Everything we're doing, we're actually querying the Excel spreadsheet. So if I go show me a line chart with, you know, dates and something, it goes, okay, cool, pull the dates and then do it. Okay, get the measure or do it. And it takes time to go back and forth. And the bigger your data, the more time it takes. So when you have large data, this actually becomes quite a pain in the butt. Because especially if you're kind of prototyping something new, you don't quite know how everything's going to work out. And every time you tweak something, you have to wait for it to process. So what we do for larger data sets is we use what's called an extract. Okay, let's go extract. Okay, and let me bring this in back here. So what an extract does is it basically takes a snapshot of this data and converts it into what's called a hyper file. And a hyper file is a proprietary technology that Tableau owns, which um, basically, that's the best explanation I have, it takes a snapshot. And instead of it being over here as an Excel spreadsheet, it actually puts it over here right right next to tableau or in tableau if you will so the connection is somewhat severed okay so that no longer exists and what it can do is because it's in hyper format it can speak to tableau very very quickly so i have data sets that use you know millions of rows okay and once i convert it to extract it's almost like it's only a thousand rows because the performance is there now the um the disadvantage of this one is if Excel data refreshes, you know, like more data goes into that, uh, into it, it won't be reflected in Tableau because you've, you've severed that connection. So to bring the new data in, you have to refresh the connection. Okay. So you go, okay, reestablish connection, regenerate the extract, and then sever the connection again. Right? So you're basically only establishing that connection to generate the extract. And then you're kind of off you go 
with the data set. Okay, so that is the difference. So let's go ahead and do it. So by default, it's always set to live, right? If I'm prototyping, I tend to just leave it there if it's kind of small data, but let's go extract. And when you click it, nothing happens besides a blink. And that is because in order to execute the extract, you need to click on sheet one, okay? So once you go there, basically you've told Tableau, it's like, cool, I want you to make an extract, go ahead and do it. So I tend to just save it in my downloads, okay? And you can see it's a .high profile. And that is because I really think of it as a kind of a temporary file, right? That you can delete. Now, if by accident you delete this file, you can always just regenerate another one by clicking refresh over here, right? Or switching it to live and then back to extract again, and you will generate a new one, right? You can generate as often as you like. So we go save, takes a few seconds, right? Obviously the bigger the data, the longer it takes. And now you are in extract mode. And that is the difference between live and extract connections.